So this question is a diagram question. We know that because of the visual that's provided here. So I like to always just take a look at that. So it looks like it's a square, um, potentially. I don't know for sure, but it does look like a square with a diagonal drawn through it between A and C with E. Looks like it is, looks like E is the, the midpoint between A and C. Um, so there's not really anything for me to draw here or label here yet. So I'm going to start reading the question. In the xy plane above, a, b, c, d is a square. Okay, so that confirms it. So since they're a square, that means that each of these sides are equal. So I'm just going to put these little marks here to represent that. The coordinates of c and e are 7, 2. So c is 7, 2. So that's good to know. So I see the 2, but I need to put this as 7. And 1, 0. So this is 1, which I could have figured out, but they didn't have listed. So I'll just label that as a 1, uh, respectively. Which of the following is an equation of the line that passes through the points B and D? Well, B looks like that's going to be negative 1, 6. And D, whereas D, D is here, that it looks like that's going to be 3, comma negative six. So we want the equation of the line that passes through points B and D. Well, anytime I see equation of a line, I think Y equals MX plus B. You could think of some other things here that will work just as well, maybe even better, to be honest with you. But this is what I think about. I think of Y equals MX plus B. So you can definitely use, this is a, um, a slope, the points, this is the slope intercept form. You could be using the point slope form. Um, so what I like to do here then is replace, I'm going to just choose, um, in fact, let me solve for M first. So M is going to be Y2. I'm going to call this X1 and Y1. Call this X2 and Y2. M is equal to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. And therefore, it will be negative 6 minus 6 over 3 minus negative 1 which is equal to negative 12 over 3 plus 1, which is 4, which means that m is equal to negative 3. So that takes care of that. So that's negative 3x plus. And then, um, then so let's rewrite this. y equals negative 3x uh, plus b. So then I'm going to replace x and y with one of my ordered pairs. doesn't matter which one. So I'm going to go with with a B. So I'm going to say this is 6 equals negative 3 times negative 1 plus B. So 6 equals 3 plus B. Subtract 3 from both sides and we get B equals 3, which means my equation would be Y equals negative 3X plus 3. There's my uh, slope intercept form. So I look at my answer choices and I don't see that as an option anywhere. But which one of these does, which one of these is equivalent to y equals negative 3x plus 3? So definitely not choice A. Choice B, if I were to distribute negative 3 across, would be negative 3x plus 3. So that must be the right answer. C is definitely not, and D is definitely not. They have the wrong, the wrong slopes altogether. So the right answer here is choice B, um, using uh, the slope intercept form of an equation using kind of the information provided to help me understand the scale of my xy plane here.